Oh, how about this? How about we'll step away and then you can just hold on my partner that's right over there. That'd be easy for you. Yeah, that was that bad. There'll be less of us in this one in. Can you shut your fucking mouth? We're trying to handle I'm standing where I'm legally allowed to be. Right now, shut up. Do not get any further, okay? I'm standing where I'm legally allowed okay. to be. Yes, sir. Shut up. Okay. Fuck you. Don't get any closer, Fuck okay? you. Thank you. Fuck you. Hey, officer, am I being detained? If not, I'd like to leave. That's the question you need to ask. Never trust the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Ever. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Is there a law against free speech? Is there a law against free speech? Fuck you. I, you can't interfere with speech. How many times do you have to be fucking be told that? Texas Penal Code 38.15 Speech is not a violation of the law. Stupid motherfucker. Learn the law. Officer, am I being detained? I'm not talking to you, bitch. I'm talking to him. Officer, am I being detained? Some people watching this uh, short video might be wondering why I get so agitated and frustrated with the El Paso County, Texas Sheriff's Office. And um, there's a long history. It's a few years now, a couple years now, going back to uh, 2020, early 2020 with myself. But then there's also incidents that I've seen, such as the one you're looking at right here where I believe that the sheriff's office is not following proper procedures and laws regarding uh, detainments. So I'm very suspicious of the El Paso County, Texas Sheriff's Office. And um, I I'm going to demand to stand uh, as close as I'm legally allowed to be without physically interfering uh, at any type of incident or traffic stop that the sheriff's office uh, is involved in or any law enforcement agency is involved in, but especially the sheriff's office. And um, I'm just sick and tired of the sheriff's office and law enforcement in general uh, trying to reinterpret what the interference law in Texas is, which is Texas Penal Code 38.15. It specifically says it's it's a physical act to interfere. Um, you know, using just your voice, your speech is not uh, interference. You can't interfere with speech. There's even a Supreme Court case regarding that called Houston v. Hill from 1987. And um, the discussion should have long ago ended. But these officers continue to try to uh, recreate the law as they see fit and not as the legislature in Austin has written it. So that's where a lot of my anger and frustration comes from. So anyway, um, that was, you know, just a quick clip of a longer video I'll put out later. Um, but basically, as you can see, there was a man that was, um, he was being questioned. He was obviously having an interaction with the sheriff's office. Um, obviously, uh, he wasn't detained in handcuffs, but it wasn't quite clear to me whether he was free to leave or not. And obviously the man himself wasn't even sure if he was free to leave or not. So that's why I voiced, you know, that idea for him to keep in mind is that if he's free to leave, you should ask him if he's free to leave. Cause I'm not even sure if he knew to ask that. Um, 
and and just the way that maybe the sheriff's deputies didn't even you know deliberately try to surround the man but that's what it appeared like um just because there was a disparity of force the uh, disparity of people there. i mean there's one guy and then there's four or five of them and they were all you know encircling him um obviously you know nobody was you know taking it to any other level um they weren't telling him to like you know they weren't giving him any stern orders that would make you think that he was being detained. But just the way that they were positioned, obviously he didn't feel free to leave. So anyway, put your comments down below about what you think about this little situation. And like I said, later in the future, I'll, I'll put out the entire video so you can watch it from beginning to end. But this one little clip is basically one of the highlights of the video, uh, the longer video that I'll put out later. All right, guys, hope everybody's having a good day. And I'll be in touch. Thanks for watching Horizon City News.